in the spotlight tonight, something you probably haven't seen before. In fact, I put my money on saying you haven't seen this before ever. The all new Zoe ZTN2 soldering iron slash multimeter. Oh yeah. Shout out to Zoe Zotek. Thanks so much for sending it in for this review. You guys rock. Thank you. ZTN2. Wow, wow, and wow. Multimeter slash soldering iron. Who would even thought this was possible? Leave it to Zotech Zoe to come up with these great ideas. This has a really nice OLED high definition display as well. A refresh rate of around three times per second. Um, auto power off, and that can be disabled as well. Uh, DC 5 to 20 volts for your working voltage and has a power of a maximum of 75 watts. So this little guy, this rechargeable little multimeter soldering iron is quite capable. Main body is made of aluminum alloy, and you can tell, wow, really nice, solid field. And here we have a silicone uh, grip or tip, whatever you want to call it, to keep that part of the handle cool when you're soldering. It's really nice, too, that they gave us this traveling tip or, or you know, whatever one you want to call it tip, because uh, it comes off easy. But hey, if you put it back on, you are protected from any sort of fire hazard, if you know what I mean. So to take it on or off, simply unscrew it like so, and that's it. And voila, it ships with this razor style tip. And uh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great, great feel in the hand as well. And I gotta say, man, oh man, I can't believe this is also a multimeter. Uh. Tips themselves are T65. Comes out just like so. Uh, here's the T100 tip, for example, and you can see the difference here much longer than the T65 tips. You can get these T65s on Amazon, eBay, what have you. Uh, yeah. When the battery is charging, you can see it is charging. Gives you a nice graphical uh, output, letting you know that it's doing its job. Now remember, you don't need that external power source uh, for the multimeter functionality. You only need to have it plugged in when you're utilizing the soldering iron. So no soldering iron, no external power source required. Something else that's uber important is when you're using USB power. So an external power source, use a fast charging adapter. Set the power supply to five volts to 20 volts and away you go. So basically the higher the power supply voltage, the greater the power and the faster the starting iron heats up. Uh, if you just plug this into a regular, uh, you know, USB-C, uh, chances are it's not going to get full uh, temperature. This can go way up there, but uh, yeah, you need to be plugged into an external uh, battery source, preferably something like you see here, like this is a 65 watt, uh, and this one works like a charm. What else do you get in the box? Good question. Well, as I said earlier, you do get that one T65 tip, only one. Uh, you also get, of course, your multimeter test lead. That goes in the back of the unit via the USB-C here as well. And you get your charging cable. And, oh, this is so cute. Zotech Zoe gave us a very nice little multi-use screwdriver tool. And it's actually really well made. Okay, right now I'm inserting the uh, T65 tip. Turn the soldering iron slash multimeter on. Let's check out that boot up time. Got it set to 350 degrees Celsius. That is the max for the Zoe ZTN2 in terms of uh, a hot top heat range. And look at that, that is pretty darn fast. That's with that T65 tip. Yeah, no complaints there. Alrighty. 
Okay, here we are again. Now, this time we are utilizing that T12 tip. Remember, this is much longer than the T65, but will it work? Well, let's find out. Okay, I'm going to insert it into the little Zoe. Wow, look how long that is. Whoa! Okay, it is inserted. Now, let's power on the soldering iron by plugging in our USB-C cable. This is once again plugged into a uh, good external uh, power source. And here we go. Zoom in there a little bit closer so you can see. So right off the get-go, not as fast a boot-up time as the T65 tip, but nonetheless, nothing to sneeze at. I mean, it's getting there. Is it going to reach that 350, though? That is the key question. And, oh, looks like it went down a bit there. What happened? It's going to come back up? Or are we... No, no, it's going up. It's going up. And look at that. There she goes. T100 tip. So it looks like we've got interoperability between uh, different tips. So we're not stuck to the T65. So not as fast a boot up. But nonetheless, look at that. We are fast approaching our 350 degrees Celsius. Just a tad more patience required, but it does get there eventually. So look at that. You can use those T100 tips with the little Zoe. Now, if you don't plug in your charger, that's, that's what's going to happen. So you got to plug in if you're going to utilize that soldering iron. Just remember that. Wow. So it's melting that solder. No problem here. Remember, got it set to 350. We're back to this T65 tip. Okay, I'm sure you're curious. I know I am. How accurate is it in terms of temperature? Well, let's find out. We got it set to 350 degrees Celsius. And uh, let's take a look here. 334 and climbing. And we are, we're getting pretty close. And... Wow, check it out, 350 degrees Celsius, spot on. So this little Zoe is an effective uh, tool in terms of temperature actually accuracy as well. So great job. Well, the uh, little soldering stand it comes with is just a little too little. Yeah, I don't really like it. Now something more robust like this I think is a better solution so you might want to pick it up as a third-party add-on since it's not included. All right finally last but not least let's see how good it is at actually soldering. Uh, I've got one of these prefab boards here ready to go and I didn't put any flux on here. There is flux in the solder. This is a Stanel uh, German solder. Great solder but I gotta say uh, these tips these razor style tips not, not my my uh my go-to for something like this so yeah, i mean it's doing the job but it's kind of a little wonky there <clears throat> apologize okay let's just go the other side here and actually just solder those holes see how it is oh yeah that's better that's a better nice flow good temperature oh yeah there we go just don't look at the top all in all yeah nice job beauty okay so this is really a real soldering iron. <laughs> cool. It is basically uh, your average size soldering iron. A little bit smaller than the typical one that comes, let's say, on a soldering station, uh, but uh, pretty well the same as the other uh, wireless soldering irons out there. In fact, the GVDA, the GD300 over here, actually uses the same T65 tip. So if you have one of those, you can interchange it with one of those. Cool. So we all know Zoe Zotec makes some great multimeters, some of the best of them out there by far. But hey, sometimes you want something eh, a little bit different. Perhaps you have different needs. Perhaps you just want something very basic. Well, guess what? Oh, this is your friend. Very, very cool. I haven't seen this before on a soldering iron. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So we have that USB-C goes in like so. And voila, you now have your multimeter tip so you've got one tip here one tip here yes it is now going to act like a meter oh man now we want to get into multimeter mode when you turn on the meter simply select the multimeter 
There it is right in the middle. Once you've got it, click on it. It says something in Chinese. Not quite sure what that is, but hey, there you go. We are now in multimeter mode. We're in resistance by default. Um, you know what? Let's see if it does continuity. It does continuity. Soldering iron doing continuity. Oh, I'm in love. So you want to make sure once again that you do not exceed. Sorry, honey, but can I borrow the Zoe ZTN2 for a minute? Um, yeah, sure, no problem, Malenka. Here, here you go. So as I was saying, just remember the ZTN2 is only capable of measuring a maximum of 36 volts, or DC or AC. Don't exceed that measuring spec because otherwise. Ah! Yeah, just don't exceed that. Already fear not, she is just fine. Okay, time to check out DC voltage, precision accuracy that is. We got the wonderful DMM Check Plus. It's been heated up for about 10, 15 minutes, about 10 minutes. And uh, let's see what we get. We wanna get as close as possible to 5.00 volts. Five dot zero one volts. That my friends is a booyah. Isn't it cool using your soldering iron to troubleshoot that PCB? It is so cool. Look, here we've got an SMD fuse. Is it any good? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, you know, you can solder, you can troubleshoot, you can do it all without having to jump to a meter. I mean, yeah, you're not going to use it all the time, but hey, sometimes that is uber handy. As I mentioned before, those T65 series soldering iron tips, Available anywhere, eBay, Amazon, what have you. Uh, these here cost about 25 bucks or so Canadian, around 18, 19 US dollars. And look, a pack of four, so you can't go wrong. wrong. Alloy iron uh, material, these things are, you know, really well made. They're gonna last a long, long time. Don't forget you have the backwards compatibility with the T100s as I tested. T12 too, I'm assuming as well as obviously the T65s. So you have a lot of choice in terms of tips. Hey, these tips are also are built really well. High quality copper inner cores. Uh, they have great thermal conductivity, fast heating, as you can tell. And man, oh man, that electroplating just makes it really easy to tin. So overall, these things are going to last you a long, long time. Closing thoughts on the smart soldering iron slash multimeter from Zoe. Oh yeah, this one hits a home run. It's totally capable soldering iron. I Man, it does everything really, really well. You have that interchangeability with multiple tips from T12s to T100s. This thing has you covered. Having that add multimeter functionality as well is just uber cool. What can you say? It is just handy dandy. You're not gonna replace your standard multimeter. No, it's just not that powerful. But that being said, it will definitely come in handy when you're just doing basic troubleshooting on a board, especially if you're soldering at the same time. Oh, I love it. Hey, now there's a couple of things that, you know, kind of make me wish it had more. Like there's no fast charger included. Not including, you need that fast charger to get up to temperature. Also, it doesn't come with a carry case, which would have been kind of nice as well. And unfortunately, it only ships with one tip. But that being said, these are not deal breakers. No, this thing is definitely a deal maker because it is just so darn cool. Gotta love that OLED screen. It is so interactive, very easy to use. You don't get lost with buttons and shuffling and all that. No, super uber easy to use. A graphical GUI that just does its job but stays out of the way. Hey, I urge everybody to pick one of these up because man, if you don't have one on your bench, you're missing out. The Zoe ZTN2 multimeter slash soldering iron gets a solid four out of five stars. Keep up the great work, Zoe Zotech. You guys are rocking it. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing. <laughs>